Yep. <laughs> we have one, two, three. There we go. <laughs> For all the... I don't know why I put so many probe cores. Why did I put probe cores on that thing? It was completely unnecessary. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's run our launch script. Uh, zero inclination, 80 kilometer. Uh, why am I going to an 80 kilometer? Let's go to 100. Let's go to... I don't got these in low space. Let's get above the station. Uh, 200. Oh, but let's... Okay, no, 100. I want to make sure to stay below the radiation belt. So I was just thinking about that. I got to think about that. Okay. Uh, bump, 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 bump. There we go. I was just realizing that... Um, just... There we go. Just going into... Just barely into high space... Uh, does put you into the lower of the... Van Kerman radiation belts and a lot of radiation does affect the probe bodies. They'll la they won't last as long. I'm not sure if that'll be a problem or not. It won't be a problem for the low orbit because low orbits below that belt, but maybe I don't know. And this is completely untested. I don't think I put the fairing on an action group. Let's actually, I keep forgetting that you can do this here. This is a great feature. If I go to five, pause the game, <laughs> deploy the fairing. Nice. I forgot to put the fairing on an action group and the script will be looking for, for that. Not that it would have crashed or anything it just would have not staged the fairing it's been a little while since I've launched something just this small I rather like it I'm gonna try as well with my rockets to always have the up like the actual payload deal with the upper part of the orbital insertion and then that way I don't have to worry about debris that this one should be detaching while we're still suborbital but then this has enough delta V to do the circularization and to finish off the mission too that's the plan anyway see how it goes the thing is this stage has to Burnout before we reach our target apoapsis or else my script will get messed up because it isn't exactly the most robust thing this script <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna do it fine. We're about 150 meters per second left on this stage and then that should stay that should uh, go away Come on And there it goes, and now we're on this little guy. Nice. And this should be able to do the whole rest of this thing, in theory. Hopefully I have not botched this. I'm noticing that um, Kerbal Engineer says I have about 1,100 meters per second left, and... The game is saying I have about 600. I think that's the difference between the fact that I'm still in the atmosphere. I wouldn't have thought it would make that much of a difference. I hope I didn't make a mistake choosing this engine for this upper upper part of this. Okay, fairing should go. There they go! Ooh. <laughs> Did everybody see that? There's a little bit of goofiness going on in here. These guys are getting a little jumpy. They seem to have settled down now, but that... Oh, no! All the antennas broke. Ah, oh, nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Okay. All right. Control-C. Close... Uh, aborts the program. Every one of these antennas is broken. You see that? Man, that happened when the fairing deployed. That's what I get for not testing. So this is going to just fall back into the ocean. We're going to get ourselves back. Now, I'm not going to revert flight. That was completely my bad. Okay, let's let this... I, I got to follow it, unfortunately. 
Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Failed launch. Failed launch. There was something goofy going on with the fairing, though. Like, they all kind of... It might be that these are just, you know, the way they come out. Here, let's... Show you what I mean. There, lock that. There we go. Well, now we got... Ah! There we are. It might be that these are coming out so wide that the fairing was interfering with it a little bit. I don't know. Either way, this is going to demise. It looks like it's not going to land on anybody's house. That's always a good thing. And we shall try again. They can't all be successes. Okay. Boosh. All right. Yeah, look out, houseboats. <laughs> we are very irresponsible here at the KSC. Back to this. Uh, back to yeah. Back to space center, and then uh, into the. People are talking about, you, you, you might have been able to land that thing, but I'll show you what I mean. I'm pretty sure I couldn't have because I don't think the thrust to weight ratio on that little spark engine would have been enough. I know here it says a TWR of 1.49, but oh, well, maybe you're right. Okay, at sea level it was 1.23, so maybe I could have landed it. Well, whatever. Whatever. What I think I'll do is rebuild this fairing. So delete the fairing. Let's build it again. I think I'm just going to come outwards a little bit, see if that makes a difference. There, and then up. Okay. And launch thrust to weight is still fine. Let's actually fix the action group that I noticed in flight. That should be deployed on action group 5. And this time, we'll save this. This time, we'll run the simulation. And all I'm going to do is test the fairing. All right, all this is is just five. Let's do this, five, five. <laughs> okay, I've... five, what is going, oh, I did the wrong fairing. Oh my gosh, okay, so we'll just deploy this this way. There we go. So that deployed without incident that time. Whether that's good, bad, or different, I don't know. Let's terminate the simulation. We're back to vehicle assembly. And let's fix the stupid, I got the wrong fairing on here. So action group five is not that fairing, but this fairing that needs to deploy. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, will it let me Let's get rid of all of these dumb probe cores that are in here for no reason at all. Oh boy. There. These are these KOS computers. The, the, these guys aren't doing anything. They're just going to be dummy probes that I'm just going to drop. And... you. Yeah. Then I won't get through four KOS windows opening up on me. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, what is our thrust to weight? That lost some mass, so we can lose some thrust down here. There we are. All right. Um, I don't know. Are we going to try again? We're going to try again. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Let's try again. Launch. Yes. Uh-oh. I'm getting a, a message here on chat that there's something goofy about the Delta V number. Well, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's run that launch again. This is zero, 100 kilometers, not 1,000, 100. Uh, that looks good. Okay. Here we go. Trying again. Hopefully this will be more successful. And we're off. Hmm. 
One more try. One thing to sort of mention to people, and I know people that have been watching these streams for a while, they know I'm I'm well into year 10 of this game um, because of all the interplanetary nonsense that I did uh, in the previous chunk of this stream. And uh, a lot of probes that I had launched quite some time ago in the earlier part of all of this in this series are now completely kaput. I've deleted some of them that are completely not doing anything anymore. Some are still there. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. My moon relays in particular are a bloody mess. <laughs> They're out of position. They are... Um, Busted solar panels, busted probe cores, they're, 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 they're really hurting. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Also, the name of the titles of all of these, I'm sure people have noticed, has been Minmus programs. And you might be thinking, like, you're doing very little that has to do with Minmus. I do plan uh, on this series over the next, I don't know, uh, within about... Eight, half a dozen to eight streams or so. I do plan on landing a crude landing on Minmus, but my goal is not to send a an Apollo style one off kind of mission, which I've done before. I did that with the moon, but instead to put in kind of an infrastructure. I already I now have a station in around Kerbin. I would like to put a lander in permanent orbit about Minmus, hopefully attached to a station there as well, with a ship that can just transfer back and forth, transfer the crew back and forth. That way I can just keep reusing the vessels. All I got to do is keep refueling them. Um, I kind of want to do it that way with, with um, using stations and bases as opposed to this geez, one off kind of Apollo style missions. Um, I think that'd be more fun. But that, what that means is getting all that infrastructure in. So I will be getting to Mimis. And, uh, but just, um, we're working on Kerbin right now. <laughs> and getting, again, getting science. I want to start unlocking bigger rockets to help me get those vessels into space. All right. I'm seeing the line in there. When you know, when you like coding, do KOS. If you don't know how to code, use McJeb. I agree. I agree. Um, it is nice using an automated method to do the orbits, especially once you're confident. Hey, that worked all right. None of the antennas broke. Um, especially once you're confident with doing orbits and you don't feel like you really need to keep doing the same things over and over again, why not switch over to McJeb and and have this kind of thing happening for you as well? Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind of profile McJeb uses in its launches. I've not, I remember trying it many, many moons ago and not really ever, and then not going back to it because I discovered KOS. All right, where are we at now? Um. Slowly pushing up our apoapsis. Our time to apoapsis is now beginning to increase. I was a little worried there for a second. I hope I have this budget. Oh, we're going to run out of fuel. This is turning into a disaster. How am I running out of fuel? This little spark engine's just not doing the job. Somebody mentioned there's something goofy with the Delta V numbers, and I got a feeling he's right. This just ran out of fuel. Oh my gosh, I've never had so much difficulty. I've never had so much difficulty with <laughs> what should be such a simple bloody mission. What the heck? Okay, well, this is another one that is destined to go, uh, you know, feed, feed, be a home for fishies down at the bottom of the ocean. No landing this time. It has no fuel left. Why? Why, why, why? I, I got to get back into the VAB and figure out what's going on. We can put the lights on. Oh my gosh, this thing's like a strobe. Oh my gosh. 
Well, one, solving problems one at a time. Again, what am I doing? I'm not testing. Not testing is costing me money. Of course, oh, wait, yo, the program has ended, okay. Um, not testing is costing me money, but of course I do have over three and a half million curb bucks, so I think I'm okay. Uh-oh, is this one gonna hit land? Uh-oh. 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 Clear the area. Clear the area. It's looking like... I don't know. We might just end up in this little lagoon here. <laughs> We're hitting the beach. Clear the beach. Clear the beach. Oh, dear. Oh, this is not a good day for sunbathing or anything like that. I guess the sun just went down, so hopefully there's no, uh, you know, early evening revels going on on the beach down here. Because uh, they're about to be rudely interrupted. Okay. Oh, oh, and look at that. I think, I think, I think we got bits surviving. We do. <laughs> Yay. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Um, is this thing collecting science? <laughs> that would be funny. Can I control this at all? The gravity scan is running on this one. <laughs> um, okay. But if I click that, here, let's turn on that gravity scan. <laughs> These are complete probes sitting here. Okay, that's nothing. Uh, that's very dead. But this one... Okay, well, um... I mean, yeah, there we go. We're... we're <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta transmit it. Can I activate... It's upside down here. Oh, yeah, this is the Communitron. Why can't I deploy you? I have a signal, why can I not deploy this antenna? Zero. Am I still, I'm not time warped anymore, no? Oh, uh, okay, it's gonna collect stuff, but it really is kind of irrelevant because we're gonna run out of disk space pretty quickly. Because I can't, for whatever reason, deploy this stupid antenna that's on the bottom. Maybe it's busted. Or maybe it doesn't like the ah oh, whatever. Let's let's get back to the space center. Here we'll we'll recover something here. Let's recover this one. <laughs> I'll have to come later and and uh, see. But you know if those guys are gonna collect some gravity scans on, uh, I, I guess it was probably the shores. I might as well let them. I really got to figure out what is going on with the delta v. Because here it says 4,098 meters per second at delta V. If I go to, let's get rid of the checklist. Vacuum here. This says 3,633. And considering how much struggle that has, why they're different? I have no idea. Same with the very top. Oh, because the fairing. Oh, let's put the fairing into the staging. Because I don't have the fairing in the staging diagram. That's still different. Why they're different? I don't know. Okay. Um. I don't know what's right. I don't know what's wrong. But, um... This can't be right that I have 4,098 meters per second at delta V. This thing should have gotten itself into orbit easy. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to, here, I'm going to do this really quick. We're going to take this off. I'm going to go back to here. I had the skipper, sorry, mass. I always can find these quicker if they're ordered by mass. They swivel with two hammers on the bottom. But what I'm just going to do is take this piece of it. Yeah. Put that there. And we'll throw this away.
Um, and we're just going to go with this. I, I, I don't know what's going on with the Delta V. That should be good. That should be good. That should be good. That should be good. And then all those at the top. I'm ignoring the Delta V numbers. I just add, what do, you, what do they say? You know, add more boosters, right? The old reliable, add more boosters. We'll put a smart part sensor on this one. That's looking for when the solid fuel is empty, it will stage. Uh, let's take a look at thrust to weight. So this has too low of a thrust at the bottom here. So we're going to add a little bit. Uh, when that lets go, it's about 2.18. Let's see if we can add a little bit. Oh, that's full thrust. So that's going to be what it is. I'm just going to go with this. Huh? So what is this? Usually when, Ker when Kerbal Engineer is wrong, it is due to the wrong root part. Oh! Ooh, I, have, I did play with root parts. What if I make the very top the root part? Now they agree. Now they agree. That was to Bourne saying the root parts, but now notice the, the two are agreeing now. That's still way too much delta V, but now at least I got numbers that I can trust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of this fuel. Uh, 36, 39, a little bit more. That should be good. Maybe that was... Okay. Again, Atmo, let's reduce the thrust on these guys. Thank you for that. So it's just root part shenanigans. Now this I can actually nerf the thrust just a little bit probably. Ah, no, you know what, just leave it. I think it should be okay. Yeah, I think it should be okay. Okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Again, why break a trend? I am not gonna test this. We're just gonna watch. It just goes to show you that sometimes what you think is gonna be super simple, Sometimes the game says otherwise. All right. Okay. No, actually, I want 100 kilometers. While we're doing all this, the sun is slowly setting. All right. All right. We are off. So hopefully the addition of a couple of hammers here on the side has made the difference. We shall see momentarily. Octo 2-1, that's what I'm looking at, and there, okay. Ah. Uh-oh, someone's mad at a dislike. You get the dislikes, people are allowed to dislike. <laughs> Sometimes people join and it's just not what they're looking for. Or they're just mean. It could be either of those. They just might not be impressed with my ineptitude of trying to get a, what should be a very, very simple rocket into orbit. But it's Kerbal Engineer's fault, I swear. You know, you have two independent ways of calculating delta V. It might not be a bad idea just to have the habit of kind of always using both of them so that you can uh, use one to confirm the other. And then if they don't agree, to sort of try and wrap your head into why. But that uh, comment about uh, the root parts being goofy, that was a good one. So thank you. All right. Uh, so we've just nerfed the thrust. Still a thousand meters per second left in this. Again, I'm hoping this stage will empty before we hit our target apoapsis. We'll wait to see what happens. This is also a lighter rocket, and the lighter the rockets are, the more atmospheric drag affects them. And uh, really, the more delta V that you need. You know, the, the really, really efficient rockets in terms of getting into orbit, not so much 
fuel because you still use a lot of you use more fuel to lift a heavier rocket obviously but in terms of the delta v numbers um the really efficient ones are the big ones because the atmosphere drag affects them less provided you still build them like rockets not like pancake rockets that are really wide and flat all right locked ourselves onto the prograde vector again about to What's going to happen first? Are we going to lose this stage first or are we going to lose this fairing first? I don't know. We are about to find out. It's a race. I think we're going to lose the fairing first, but not by much. There goes the fairing. And 50 meters per second left in that core stage. There goes the stage. All right. Little spark. It's time you're going to do your job. One thing is we're higher in the atmosphere now that the spark's turning on, so the spark's going to be more efficient. So that's good. All right. Uh, 70 kilometers on the apoapsis, so at least we're going to space this time. <laughs> ah, Dan just discovered the emojis that YouTube has from the chat. Oh, yeah, 100 kilometers on the apoapsis. Minmus 3 batteries are almost empty. Uh, what the heck is Minmus 3 doing? <laughs> Minmus 3, Minmus 3 must be a lander. Must be, yeah, it must be, it's a lander. Oops, okay. Here, what we can do, this is what I love, is we can go to here, find Minmus 3. Where's Minmus 3? Minmus 3. It did say Minmus 3, didn't it? I don't have a Minmus 3. Okay, who's having battery issues? Minmus Relay 3. Ooh. I don't know why it would be having issues. I, I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's going to be okay. I thought I put plenty of batteries on there. Okay, where are we at here? Let's get ourselves to that circularization. Oh, relax. Minmus 3 batteries have recharged. It's fine. It must have just... Sometimes I'm maybe a little bit too tight with my uh, battery calculations and it was probably getting below 10. I think it's when the batteries get below 10% you get that warning. Okay, time warp here. To the burn. Still, this is only just barely a little under 100 meters per second. 560 meters per second left in this vehicle. So this thing is going to be fine. Two and one and go. And again, the idea here, you might have forgotten because it's been so long since I started this, is we're going to drop two of them here in a little space. They're going to collect their gravity scans. And then this guy's going to go up to high space and drop its friend. And then we'll have two in low space, two in high space. That's the idea. Okay, program has ended. Okay, I'm going to put you onto the normal vector. Oh my gosh, this thing's snow. Well, there's four sets of reaction wheels. Okay, let's get ourselves up to the top here. Deploy this antenna. Actually, I don't think I need to. Uh, and yeah, let's control. Oh, well, it's whatever. Let's just decouple. Turn that force right. Oh here am I on you yep and turn on this gravity scan there we go that's one collecting uh, gravity scan data hey, you're you're a cute little fella aren't you I can keep you locked on that normal vector like that okay let's get back to this and then the next one aim our camera up here do this quickie quick 
The fact that these two are beside each other makes absolutely no difference. Decouple that. Um, do I have... Which one am I on here? Yeah, let's kind of just do that. There we go. That wasn't exactly too convincing. Oh, am I on the right one now? Yep. Uh, extend that antenna. And turn on that gravity scan. And now it's collecting. So now I got two probes collecting gravity scans. So instead of it taking 90 days, they should take... Um... They should take 45 days. That's my logic, and I'm going to stick with it. Okay, I'm going to meanwhile put this guy onto the prograde vector, and we're going to zip on out of here. I want to get... Actually, what I should do... Where are these radiation belts? I think one. There we go. Okay, uh, i got to get above 250 kilometers. I was watching that Apple Waps. I do want to be a little careful... Can I afford? Okay, see, that's it. Yeah, I'm into that radiation. I think I can afford it. Should I afford it? I have 400 and f I'm getting to 400. I want to get out of this radiation belt. I don't want the probe to sit in the radiation belt. Cut. Okay. <laughs> that might have been a mistake. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, no. No, no, no. I know what I just did. Ah, uh, shoot. I went to type in here and... Somebody's loose. Ah, uh, fart. I went to type in here, but I didn't select the window. Okay, so I got three probes down here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you rockhead. Oh, well. I went to type in here and I hit space and I staged. Hoorah. Whatever. This this whole thing has been a been a fiasco from the get-go. Oh well he's gonna actually be jumping back and forth between high space and low space. He's gonna have a good ride. Okay. Okay, make sure to select that. Run circ at Apple Wapsis. Why? Oh, because I'm not... I'm on the wrong probe. Not, 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 not that one. That one has a probe body. Okay, try that again. Again, select this window. <laughs> Run circ at Apple Wapsis. Oh my gosh, this has been a day. Okay, uh, 257.6. I got plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel. That's not a problem. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Okay, we can start this scanner. I'm not sure I started the other scanner. I'll have to go back and check. Okay. Run the X-Man script. That's my circularization one. I don't care anymore, honestly. This thing has had enough adventures. So oh, I think I turned the lights off by mistake. All right, where are we at? Almost at the burn. Okay, so this fellow's in high space. He's collecting high space one. I got two of them in low space. They're collecting their low space gravity scans. And then I got one that's going to go back and forth. It is what it is. He's left into this elliptical orbit because I mistakenly hit the space bar. All right, that is done. Close that, close that. Put you on the normal vector. You are running a gravity scan. There's nobody close enough. Okay, so you are, I should rename all these. Not the worst string of failures in space history. 